and we always pay them debts. Wassle, wassle. I'm so sorry, I'm going to die now. Boy, it's so good. Okay, uh, another vlog attempt. I just woke up, it's like 6 p.m. right now, had a nice, fat midday nap, uh, and I've just realized that I'm really hungry. So I'm gonna go get myself a big ass pizza, which I believe is the best pizza in town, okay? So, take a look. Oh, it just feels like that the older you get, the way you spend time uh, differs a lot from, you know, what you used to. Because I learned it's Sunday. Instead of, like, partying and clubbing and shit, I just... I was filming a little bit earlier in the morning, trying to figure out how, to, how I want to make uh, the video about my car. And then I had my nap. Now I'm driving to get a pizza and probably like watch a movie or play Alan Wake since that's out for PlayStation as a remaster and I never actually got to play it. And again, the older you become, the more you enjoy staying at home, eating your the food you want to eat and stuff like that. That's my beauty right here, by the way. Check this out. It's so nice. I love this car. I love it. Even though I did such a dumb job with filming a video about it. Because, you know, like, I need to practice on making unscripted videos. This is so hard. When the video is on a topic and you unscript it, man, this is extremely hard for me. I just cannot explain it, it. Somehow, the way I formulate my thoughts and the way I set them up through a script allows me to be to articulate them way more. And when you're just you know like blabbering and stuff, I don't know. And it's not like when you know some people hate scripted videos, thinking that they're not real. Well. They are real, because these are your fucking thoughts that you're sharing. That That's what you actually mean when you say whatever you say. It's not like you copy-pasted this shit or something. I don't know. But yeah. It is what it is. So, we're going to have a little drive right now to grab the pizza. And I'll show you the best pizza in Kiev, Ukraine. In my humble opinion. Um, and yeah probably watch something cool because I don't I don't really like playing with greasy hands you know maybe mixed to be honest I do that sometimes but you know not something that I'm proud of okay let's go oh you want we always pay them debts wassa wassa just like the crody that's on do no pasta make with skull and cousin jamie and yada we get from gaza pasha sasha this is just a fashion niggas just acting are you dumb and stupid the wheels on the roses chromas headshot domas just checked in at a hotel floor that we all got pulled in aromas obo xo link up man them drink up me and the drink another thing i really love about kia is that like we're driving through this city right now, and all of a sudden, you can get into this, like, road that will go through a bunch of trees, and it's all green, and, man, ju just look at this. So, here's the highway, right? We're, we're just off the highway, city, whatever. There's Dnipro River, you have a shit ton of residential areas, and then, boom, we need to go here to get into the city center. All of a sudden, it's all this picturesque... Um, setting here isn't this gorgeous i mean i just love it, it looks amazing So, uh, this pizza place is located in the very heart of Kiev, which is the Golden Gate, and it's like the monument that 
that is actually still out there till now, uh, which is literally a big ass gate. So, and initially, like way, way back in the day when Kiev was getting built, and we're talking like about, dude, like uh, probably like 11th century or something, like way back in the day, okay? This was like the gate that was the enter to this like the entrance to the city and there was a huge wall around this city so that's how it works um just passing the tsum which is the, the coolest and you know all the fashion lovers know what that place is like if you want to experience high-end fashion that's that's the place to go and if you have shit ton of money to spend on clothes uh, so, as you can tell, I don't really go to places like that. So basically, right now, we're approaching the pizza place, uh, and I just thought that we're gonna have a review of what is the best pizza in Kiev, my edition. Yeah, roads are getting built. That's a mess. Just just look at this thing, and you barely can can get through the road. And it's like city center, but I guess they, they have to do it at some point, but I really love this cobblestone, you know, it gives this uh, historic vibe to it, and I'm afraid they're going to replace it with some regular shit, which is, you know, not so cool. Anyways, um, yeah, I already ordered everything, and they're actually making it as I'm driving there, so... We're not gonna spend a single minute waiting or wasting time. Damn boy, look at this new C-Class. It's just something. I, I love Mercedes. You know, someday I'm buying a Mercedes when I have, like, too much money saved up. I don't know. Because that's the thing. Like, I'm making this video about a car where I'm talking that, you know, I bought a Toyota because it's reliable and because I want it to last and so I don't have to worry about anything and so on and so forth. And Mercedes is more of a luxurious car that you could, you know, in my point of view, you could afford it when you don't really care in terms of the amount of money you're going to spend, you know, over time for, like, maintenance and that. You have to be, like, kind of ready that it would break down or that it would not be as efficient as Toyota but it's just a, such a gorgeous car you know I, I just can't help but have a burning desire for it of course I, I'm not like in the market for a C-Class because you know um, I, I just don't think that it would make a lot of sense but something like CLA, CLE, or maybe if I get insanely rich, uh, G-Wagon. You know, I just, just dreams, just dreams. Gotta share with you guys. Who else is gonna uh, listen to me sharing this, right? So, just sharing with you guys whatever I have in mind. This is a pretty street, by the way. And then one of the oldest McDonald's just happened to be one of the oldest McDonald's uh, in Kiev. Um, so yeah, we're entering this historic, I mean, it's kind of like historic center, I would say. It's also Padil, which is kind of like a different area, but, uh, yeah, this area is also pretty, pretty old. Uh, and, uh, we're almost there. We're almost there. I just hope we'll get lucky with a parking spot, so I wouldn't have to walk, like, I don't know, fucking two miles or something. Okay, mister, um, sure, take your time, take your time. Parking, parking spot. Uh, if you guys <laughs> saw a parking spot and I've missed it, write it in the comment section below. So I know I'm a dummy and I'm, you know, smarter next time when I'm... Okay, okay. I'll take this. I'll take that. that that's, that's as good as it gets. We'll have a little walk. And um, I'll probably also show you the nice cycler spot they have in here because they have a literally like a cycler track and 
I know it's kind of unique. I've never, never really seen anything like that. To be honest. Um. Okay, and we're good. We are good. Let's grab our keys and go get our pizza. I think I don't need my glasses because it's always a mess when you want to pay with Apple Pay and you have your like glasses on or something and then it doesn't really work and it sucks. So yeah. Okay, here it is. Just check this out. It's gorgeous. Such a beauty. And people are like racing this shit and they're like right here on the walls and stuff. It's like, I don't know, like Matrix or something, you know? That's, that's insane. Okay, and right there, you see it says the food spot. And the... Uh, the pizza place is called the pie spot. So that's where we're gonna go. And I'm not gonna go through the, the front where all the people are. We're gonna take the, the back door. Cause it's like for self pickup and shit. So yeah, let's go. I really like the design and the packaging and how they organize it all. Yeah. By the way, I just realized this one little thing I wanted to share with you. What do you think about that? I don't want to call it Crocs fashion because it sounds like, you know, too cringy uh, to say this. But yeah, what do you think about this? Is this even okay? Is it legal to move around in Crocs? just all over the place or not really I don't know tell me what do you think because a lot of people say that y you can do it only if you're like a nurse or something I'm obviously not a nurse but this is so convenient to do this Jesus and the way everyone else is dressed up like like it's some sort of a fashion show I'm not ready for a fashion show just you know Getting pizza, whatever. Now let's head back home as fast as possible until this thing is so hot.
Okay, here it is. Let's check it out. Oh my god. So, another thing I really like about this pizza place is that you could mix flavors because you don't always want to have a big ass, you know, pepperoni or cheese pizza or whatever. But here you can mix it and it's just perfect. What, what else can I tell you? You can see it for yourself. Okay, I, I gotta take a bite. Guys, I, I just can't, you know, gotta do it. Okay, I guess we'll start with pepperoni. Because that's classic. It's gorgeous, I mean... I don't know what else you want me to tell you. I love it, it's just great. Um, if you, by any chance, are in Kiev, definitely worth checking it out. So this entire pizza is like $16.50, and it's just, just gorgeous. Mm. <laughs> Boy, it's so good. It's like, you know, the perfect balance. The crust is there. It's nice and thin the way I like it. You have tons of cheese. Oh my God. I'm no food critic, you know, to find the right words here, but this is just, it's, it's pure joy. That's it. Like, this is literally one of the best pizzas I've ever eaten in my entire life. That's for sure. So good. Thanks a lot for joining me today for this little pizza trip. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. I Honestly, I kind of like this format. I feel very natural in it. And it would be a good idea to make one proper video per week where I would discuss certain topic that I find interesting. And to make one vlog kind of video. Because that's something I can definitely do along the week and just capture some of the most interesting moments of my week and then share them with you guys. So in case you find it interesting, let me know. I would appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Enjoy.